Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Brendan back again with another video and today in this video we're going to be talking all about power windows and their use in color grading. So what are power windows? For those of you that don't know, power windows are essentially masks that you can create to um, basically cut out certain portions of your image that you want to isolate for a specific color grading purpose. If you're shooting in RAW or at least if you're shooting in a very uh, low compressed codec, um, then you'll have a lot more information to play around with in post to push the exposure without um, degrading the image at all. So with something like raw red footage, I've noticed I can push or pull it plus or minus three stops without noticing any difference in quality, which is pretty nice. Um, so today I have opened my cinematography reel and um, I've basically been going through it and choosing certain images that I think could benefit from power windows and I've been doing some power window uh, adjustments here on my cinematography reel. Figured it would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys and do a little demonstration on how powerful power windows can be. And what's really cool is right in Premiere in the Lumetri Color color grading effect, um, you have power windows at your disposal. And I've talked about Lumetri Color many times in the past. I love it because it's right inside Premiere, which is what I use to edit. And DaVinci Resolve has even more powerful um, power window tools available in terms of motion tracking and stuff. Um, but this is a good primer, at least, when you're just starting to get into it like I am. Uh, first things first, I have this clip here. And essentially, you can see I have a mask around her here that's used to brighten up her face and this whole side of her body essentially from this green key light that I was using. And then I can feather this mask and you don't even realize the window is there. You don't see hard edges and you don't have to get the edges perfectly. Um, you could just sort of make a bubble around your subject and it works really well. So now if I play through this shot, you'll see I've basically keyframed this mask so it follows the shape of her face as the camera moves around. Let me basically show you from beginning to end how you would do something like this. So I will turn off this Lumetri Color effect and we'll bring a new one in here. So Lumetri Color, I'll click and drag this onto the clip. And then you'll see right off the bat at the beginning of the Lumetri Color effect, you see an ellipse marker tool, a square marker tool, and a free draw marker tool, um, basically a pen tool. Um, so for different purposes, you might be able to get away with just using an ellipse or um, something like a square. Um, and for other purposes, when it's a more complex shape with lots of different curves and edges and things, it's better to use the pen tool. In this particular example, I wouldn't use an ellipse, I would actually draw the mask. All of the other adjustments now that you make within Lumetri Color, which I've done many tutorials on in the past, link to those videos will be in the description, um, they will only affect what's inside that mask. If I want it to affect what's only outside the mask, then I just hit this inverted button. And then all I would need to do is keyframe the path of the mask from one moment to the next. So you could see this part here where it says mask path. If I hit this toggle, that's the keyframe. So now I'm saying that's where I want to lock it in for that frame. If I go a couple frames forward where the shot changes, let's take a look at where this mask is now. You could see the mask doesn't line up perfectly. So now I can basically move all these points around. And as you can see, immediately as I start moving these points around, a new keyframe is created. Now you can see between these two keyframes, as I scroll across, now you can see it animates between these two keyframes to basically stick to where I want it to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully that's a new tool that you guys can use. As you can see, it's super simple. It's just all the other tutorials I've talked about with the Lumetri Color Effect. It's just one more thing inside the Lumetri Color Effect that you can use to isolate different parts of the frame for your color grading techniques. The fact that you can path out the masks and move them along with whatever the subject matter is in the frame, um, you have to do it manually, which is uh, quite annoying. Whereas something like DaVinci Resolve, you could um, automatically motion track all that stuff and do like exact motion tracks of things. For basic applications like this, um, just brings it to a whole other level of the types of things that you can do just right inside Premiere, which I love. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.